Joseph Upton. Okay. Inspector Carrigan. Yes, sir. You want to stand next to Mr. Upton, please? Absolutely. I, I don't hear good. I'll never hear understand him. If he's so okay, good. sir. I'll help you. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, I give it, do I give him this here? Or? No, sir. He'll have that. Oh, you got that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You got to speak into the mic, though, sir. to be 90, you know? <laughs> yes. Uh, I was driving my wife over to the hospital on Blackstone Boulevard, <clears throat> and you have to take a right there. So I guess I speeded up a little bit or something. I don't know. I haven't had a t ticket in, I don't know, 30 years or something. So it was, you know, I don't know. I just wonder what I could do with it. You know. I know uh, uh, next what? month he's going to yeah. be 90 years old. He's saying next month that you're going to be 90 years old, sir. Yeah. How old is your wife? My wife's 87. Oh. How many I years? I actually go to the gym. Would you believe that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would. How many years have you been married, sir? Yeah. Oh, now that's a tough one. <laughs> Sixty-seven or something like that. <laughs> Sixty-seven years. Yeah. How many children? How many children? How many children do you have, sir? I have three. Three. <laughs> now, do your children know that you're becoming a, a hot rodder? <laughs> 30, what was it, 30? No, I don't drive very fast, no. I couldn't believe I got a ticket. <laughs> you actually, you one mile over what we charge. Actually, it was two miles over what we charge. Two Isn't miles it? over? Oh. Inspector Quinn. Yes, Judge. Two miles Is over. Your Honor, with an unblemished driving record and uh, the explanation from the uh, motorist, the city would move to dismiss with a warning and I'm sure uh, he, you wanna, you he wanna, will not be coming back. More importantly, though, Your Honor. Inspector Quinn, Inspector Quinn, tell him. Tell Inspector him, Quinn is moving to dismiss no, the No, Inspector Quinn's going to put him on probation, or on probation for 20 years. <laughs> Inspector Quinn is going to put you on probation for 20 years. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably make it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we want him to report back here 20 yeah. years from now. From 20 years from now, you have to come back in. Oh, okay. <laughs> No problem. And we'll both still be here, too, at that time. <laughs> I'll be Judge, what I'm more call. impressed with is the, <laughs> is the motorist with that hat. He actually did happen to uh, stick around long enough to see the Red Sox win not one, but four World Series. Yeah, Inspector Quinn, what, what, you said you stuck around long enough to see the uh, four World Series wins. Yeah, Boston. yeah that's right. Yeah, well, right, that, may, that may impress us. Yeah, it is. Yeah, but oh, wait a minute. He might be a Yankee fan. No, no, no. no, no. no. <laughs> well, that may, that may impress Inspector Quinn. What impresses <laughs> me is that he was driving his wife to the hospital. Yes. He's still taking care of his wife at 90 years old. They've been married over 60 years. This is a great American story. Good luck to you, sir. The case is dismissed. Sir, the case is dismissed. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, who doesn't love Joe Upton? At 90 years old, he still goes to the gym, has a great attitude, and has only a rough idea on how long he's been married. Oh, now that's a tough one. <laughs> 67 or something like that. 67? 68? What does it matter? Joe's still driving his 87-year-old bride to the hospital while rocking a Red Sox hat. What an absolute icon. See you in 20 years, Mr. Upton. Until then, be well. Go Sox. James Ratsmith. Morning, James. Morning, Your Honor. You have two uh, parking tickets on Smith Street. Yes, sir. You are from New York. Yes, sir. Where in New York? Uh, Maypack, New York. Where is that? It's about an hour north of the city. Mm -hmm. You're charged with parking on the sidewalk. What do you want to tell me about this? Um, so I was actually in the middle of... Uh, selling this Jeep, and unfortunately I was not able to move it after the first ticket because I was waiting for a uh, new starter to come in. So once I was able to move it, I moved it across the street where we had extra spots, but that was the only place I could put it while I was trying to sell it. Um, so did, I, did you sell it? I did, yeah. So I'm, I'm good now. I have uh, a different Jeep, but um, Did yeah, you get was, enough money to pay the tickets when you sold it? No, car? I actually lost money on the Jeep, so. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Are you a student? Yes, sir. I go to Johnson & Wales. Mm -hmm. What year are you in? Uh, I'm a junior. Junior, huh? 
What are you studying? Uh, culinary nutrition. Okay. What is your ideal job when you get out? What do you want to do? Um, I want to be a nutritionist and a chef for a sports team or like a personal chef for a sports team. For a sports an team? Athlete. Yeah. Like what, for rugby or what kind uh, of Ice team? hockey. I played ice hockey my whole life. Ice so. hockey. Yeah. Well, I'm looking at this. I'm looking at the picture. Based on the configuration of this parking space, I'm going to give you a break on it. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. And we wish you well. Hope you, <clears throat> you can work for a professional hockey team. Which one are you looking for? Um, I mean, I'm, a, I'm from New York, so I'm a big Rangers fan. Sorry to everyone here. Um, but um, I, was, I like Colorado a lot better, so hopefully work for the Colorado Avalanche. <clears throat> suppose, you, suppose you did this for the, uh, for the Patriots, for example. Mm. I know you must love the Patriots if yeah. you're in New York, right? <laughs> yeah, favorite. Yeah. And if you had to give Tom Brady some advice on nutrition, what would you tell him? I, I, I don't know. I, am, I, am I good? Am I dismissed? Or can I say what I... Do I, I, I don't really like the Patriots. I want you to say exactly <laughs> what you can say. It's hard to be from New York and try to like the Patriots. But no, I would obviously, if I was actually working for him, I would give him the right, uh, right information on nutrition. On nutrition. Yeah. If, if I were in charge of nutrition for Tom Brady, right, I'd give him the best advice. He'd want to pay me any amount of money. I know That's how, true. You know what I would he tell would him? be paying my bills, so I'd definitely give him the right information. I'd say to him, Keep doing exactly what you're doing. That's what I would you're tell right. him. Don't do anything different. Yeah. As much as I don't like the Patriots, I he, told he is a good Tom, quarterback. The chef's I give from him New that. York. Don't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely would not tell him to eat spaghetti and meatballs every yeah. day, right? It's my diet, spaghetti and meatballs. I've, I've, I've been known to dabble in spaghetti and meatballs. Yeah? You it's never not know. bad. You All in moderation. A lot of that fitness regime he's got yeah. going on. You gotta, you gotta have it sometimes. It's all in moderation. Good luck. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.